Jehoiakim, 635598 BCE, was a king of Judah from 608 to 598 BCE. He was the eldest son of King Josiah by Zebidah, the daughter of Pediah of Rumah. His birth name was Eliakim. Background After Josiah's death, Jehoiakim's younger brother Jehoahaz was proclaimed king, but after three months Pharaoh Necho II deposed him, making Eliakim king in his place. When placed on the throne, his name was changed to Jehoiakim. Jehoiakim reigned for 11 years, until 598 BCE and was succeeded by his son Jeconiah, who reigned for only three months. Reign. Jehoiakim was appointed king by Necho II, king of Egypt, in 608 BCE, after Necho's return from the battle in Harran. Three months after he had killed King Josiah at Megiddo, Necho deposed Jehoiakim's younger brother Jehoahaz after a reign of only three months and took him to Egypt, where he died. Jehoiakim ruled originally as a vassal of the Egyptians, paying a heavy tribute. To raise the money he taxed the land and exacted the silver and gold from the people of the land according to their assessments. However, after the Egyptians were defeated by the Babylonians at the Battle of Carchemish in 6005 BC, Nebuchadnezzar II besieged Jerusalem, and Jehoiakim changed allegiances to avoid the destruction of Jerusalem. He paid tribute from the treasury in Jerusalem, some temple artifacts, and handed over some of the royal family and nobility as hostages. Rabbinical literature describes Jehoiakim as a godless tyrant who committed atrocious sins and crimes. He is portrayed as living in incestuous relations with his mother, daughter-in-law, and stepmother, and was in the habit of murdering men, whose wives he then violated and whose property he seized. He also had tattooed his body. Jeremiah criticized the king's policies, insisting on repentance and strict adherence to the law. Another prophet, Uriah ben Shemaiah, proclaimed a similar message and Jehoiakim ordered his execution. Jehoiakim continued for three years as a vassal to the Babylonians until the failure of an invasion of Egypt in 601 BCE undermined their control of the area. Jehoiakim switched allegiance back to the Egyptians. In late 598 BCE, the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar II invaded Judah and again laid siege to Jerusalem, which lasted three months. Jehoiakim died before the siege ended and his body was thrown outside the city walls. He was succeeded by his son Jeconiah. Nebuchadnezzar deposed Jeconiah and installed Zedekiah, Jehoiakim's younger brother, as king in his place. Jeconiah, his household, and much of Judah's population were exiled to Babylon. According to the Babylonian Chronicles, Jerusalem fell on to Adar 597 BCE. The Chronicles state, The seventh year in the month Chiselv the king of Babylon assembled his army. And after he had invaded the land of Hatti he laid siege to the city of Judah. On the second day of the month of Adar he conquered the city and took the king prisoner. He installed in his place a king of his own choice, and after he had received rich tribute, he sent forth to Babylon.